Apple took part in a medical study and had an accuracy of 84% in detecting atrial fibrillation. They assessed 400,000 participants and attempted to pick up heart arrhythmias. However, the main catch is that arrhythmias are problematic in the older population, not the young people that you tend to see wearing a flashy Apple Watch. So, me personally, I'm not really a fan of Apple Watches as I think they're more of a fashion statement than they are a technological advantage. However, I reckon once I probably reach my late 40s, I'll probably consider getting one for this reason. So welcome to the channel guys, my name is Ryan and I'm a finally a medical student and a content creator. This is my five minute paper series and here we look at interesting healthcare articles. These articles are provided by my friends over at Explain This Paper. They are summarizing very complicated, detailed medical research articles into quick reads so that we can all understand. So, atrial fibrillation is the name given to the condition which causes a frequent or constant irregular heartbeat, also known as an arrhythmia. Now, in the hospital, it's quite common to find patients with this on routine examination, and usually they'll present for other reasons. Now the problem is, having AF actually increases your risk of strokes, but many people don't even know that they have it. So for example in the US, 700,000 people have undiagnosed AF. Now in a hospital setting, we use a scoring system which helps us evaluate the risk of strokes for the population of patients with atrial fibrillation. Now this is called a CHADS VASC tool. Having an Apple Watch that can accurately pick up uh, an arrhythmia can help prevent one of the UK's leading causes of mortality. So, what did they do in this study? Just under 420,000 Apple Watch users opted into the study and were monitored using their Apple Watch. If they found an irregular heartbeat, they were offered an over-the-phone consultation with a doctor through the app. And those who had severe symptoms were asked to go to a hospital and those who were relatively stable were provided an ECG patch which would monitor their heart rhythm for a week and they could send that back to the doctors. Now, out of the 420,000 people on the trial, 2,161 received notifications that they might have AF and out of those, about 450 received an ECG patch to be evaluated by doctors. So, out of the 450 patches analysed, an actual diagnosis of AF was found in 153 of them, which is 35%. So how did the watch perform? Well, 84% of people who received an AF notification from their watch and returned their ECG patch were confirmed to have AF. Promisingly, 76% of people who received an AF notification contacted a doctor, which is a good thing. Now, the limitations are that Apple actually sponsored the study. However, Stanford did have the right to publish the data regardless of outcome. Now, as the authors note, we should be careful of false reassurance which basically means that just because you didn't get an AF notification doesn't mean to say that you don't have AF. Now, the results are impressive, but as Dr. Daniel Yazdi notes, the answer to the question, if my watch tells me I have atrial fibrillation, what are the odds that it is correct? This is basically called the positive predictive value. Now, Yazdi uses data from Apple's FDA patent submission and user guide to calculate its positive predicted value in different age groups. The Apple Watch is really good at detecting AF in older adults, but not that good at detecting it in people aged less than 55 who currently make up 90% of its user base. So this was a robust study which showed that the Apple Watch and other wearables could be used as a screening tool for AF and other medical conditions in the future. However, its current user base, predominantly young and affluent, might not be the best beneficiaries of this technology. Hope you guys enjoyed this research summary provided by my friend Musty at Explain This Paper. Now check their website out, the link is in the description. And I hope this summary was useful. Um, I'll be releasing a few more of these videos very soon. Thank you guys for watching and bye for now.